This week's Next Gen is presented by PFI, home of Boot Daddy. So what do bugs have to do with agriculture? We visited the Bolivar FFA chapter to see how. I am the trainer of the entomology contest team in FFA. Entomology is one of the career development events in FFA, one that I definitely have a passion for. We competed at state in April, where we got first place at state, and then we're able to compete at nationals in May, where we got first place at nationals. Entomology is the study of insects, and Insects are around us everywhere, whether you're involved in agriculture or not. Whenever you walk outside, whenever you're inside, insects are all around us. So whether you're involved in agriculture and need to know how to control those insects, or maybe they're beneficial insects, so you're gonna use them for good, or whether you're just a person living in a city, they're gonna affect you and need to know how to control those insects too. And so one of the amazing things about the entomology contest is these students learn how to ID these insects and they walk around and are able to be like, oh, that's a Japanese beetle or that's a ground beetle. And they can identify those insects and know what they are and whether they are good or whether they're a bad insect. FFA is a national organization, training students in agriculture and leadership. With over 500,000 members nationwide, winning a national competition in FFA is an accomplishment to be proud of and one that requires significant training and commitment. The members of Mrs. Brown's national champion team in Bolivar shared how they prepared to make this accomplishment. Okay, so the test for the FFA entomology contest is a 75 question test over the practicum, practical entomologist book here. And it can be any test worded in any way out of this book. So to prepare for a state contest, we studied over a thousand questions out of this book from past state tests or tests that Ms. Brown had wrote to prepare us for that contest. In practicum A, it's two parts, and the first part is IDing the insect. That's important because you need to know how to control it and you don't want to have too much damage. Um, the second part is seeing which control method that you need. That's important because if you don't get it controlled, then it'll damage your crops. Um, so to study practicum A, we get a bunch of the practicum um, practice tests from previous years and we study that. So the reference for practicum A is the Destructive and Useful Insects book and you use that to figure out the insect if you are curious of what it is and how to control it and it tells you everything step by step what to do and that's how we make the questions for the practicum A test. Uh, part of the entomology call contest is practicum B which is a 10 question math test, which sounds weird because you think we're just here to look at insects and ID them, but you actually need to do the math because it helps you in the real world with like pesticides. So like one example would be, say you go to the store and you wanna buy pesticide and the label says apply two pounds per acre. Well, say you don't live on a farm, you just have a home garden and it's obviously probably not an acre big. Well, then you're going to have to do the math to figure out exactly how much you need to apply to your garden. During this contest, I encountered hardships through the test portion of the contest. And in order to overcome it, I had to push myself more to take the tests that Ms. Brown provided and all the tests that were past state contest tests. And at the end of it all, I ended up finishing first high individual in the nation. Through their career development events, this Ball of Riff of Fay team is now the best prepared in the nation to enter the entomology career field. But beyond their knowledge of insects, these students say through long hours of studying and hard work as a team, they've learned valuable life skills they can take with them wherever life leads. 